Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday, August 12, 2021, and maybe the Russell 2000 is finally going to start to trend up. We saw some clues yesterday. Not sure. We still need to wait for confirmation. Hi, my name is Jeff Tomasulo. I'm the co-founder of TacticalIncome.com and CEO of Vespilla Capital Management. If you like what you see on these videos, please subscribe to our channel. Now, let's get to my computer screens and let's get to work. All right, guys, let's get to work. It is Thursday, August 12th, 2021. It's about 8.05 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And on the tactical income trading platform, maybe, guys, maybe we see a little bit of a rotation going on in the markets. And maybe, like I say, maybe this is going to be the time that the IWM finally gets some momentum behind it and goes a little higher now i have no freaking clue but i did get a clue yesterday right and you know there's a lot that needs to happen today and over the next few days for the iwm to give me the full confidence that we could see the rotation into value uh you know into other stocks besides uh the nasdaq uh and those big cap tech stocks, which we're starting to see some of them kind of falter a little bit. And that's what's given me some hope and that what we saw yesterday. So let me show you real quick what I saw yesterday. And it comes down to that 10 day chart, like I said. So if a lot of you guys are not, um, you know, trading every minute of the day, um, it's really important to go on a daily. And this is a really key here. So we're going to do let's do the, the one day which basically shows you what happens when the market opens at 9.30 and when it finishes at 4. Then we'll go to the 10-day and then we'll do our little six-month. And I love doing this micro to macro. It's so darn important, especially, again, if you're not trading every minute of the day. It gives you a view, an overview of what really happened intraday. And then you can compare that to the 10-day and then you uh, go out to your six-month, one-month, five-year and you could set this up on any kind of time frames. We talk to our uh, tactical income subscribers all the time on how to set this up and why it's so darn important and what's the clues to look for. And I'm going to give you a little hint and a little insight into that right now. But you can see the IWM opened up and then sold off hard, right? And then it consolidated and then sold off even harder going into 12 o'clock, right? It looked like it was going to break down. And when you're watching this and you know the levels, right? And you look over the 10 day, right? Right here was a very key kind of moment in the day because it looked like the IWM and the Russell 2000 was gonna break down. And you could see here that little mark here, look at where it's been holding over the last 10 days, right? Right in this level here. So my, I was somewhat close when I drew this little line, but you could see when it broke down here, you know, in my mind, I was like, oh, this is it. You know, the, the Russell's probably going to make a move back down to 218. Um, this really sucks, blah, 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 blah. Right. But what happened? And you can see exactly what happened here is that it took out all the people who probably were like, hey, I'm using this as my my stop underneath my low. Right. Intraday it took it out. Right. But I like to see it close. Now, obviously, you have to manage risk during the middle of the day, but you want to see it close below there. And what happens, it goes and takes out the lows, and we'll go back to the intraday, and boom, 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 blows through it, takes out the lows, and then it just slowly, for the rest of the day, goes straight up all day long. Boom. Look at that trend. No, I mean, it just kind of, the. I mean, it was insane on the way I looked at it the whole day. I could not believe where it just looked like it was going to break through and then it went up. So that's my little bit of a clue because this is what I like to see when it wipes out the small hands. Now, that doesn't mean it's going to it's gonna finally work, 
but we see on the longer term chart when we go out here let me let me go back to my little six month and put it up the way i need it right you can see that we had the line here it's making the the lower high at the higher lows right and what i mean by that for anybody that doesn't understand look at this made a low made another low made another low but they're higher when they try to you know go up it comes down it doesn't go and take out this low goes up comes down, doesn't go and take out this low, goes up, comes down, does not go out and take out these lows. And now we got this move to the upside. So what we really need to see here, oh, it's gonna move around, sorry guys, is we need, I wanna see it obviously go take out its, its highs here, but over the last 10 days, I really want it to take out these highs where it's at right now. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm struggling with the, the, tr the drawer in here, but this is where I want it. This is where I want it to see it. It's not working for me. There we go. I want to see it take out. I mean, we're right there. I want it to get above the 224 area. I want it to see close. I mean, in reality, I want to see it go above 225 and close above that. And I would feel so much more comfortable, but you can see it happening. It's just not, you know, yesterday that was definitely a clue. It made us, you know, we got long um the the rut off of that be, um and it wasn't easy trust me we've been trying to make this trade over and over for the last i don't know how many months and it just hasn't been working right and, and now i feel like maybe there's a sign and you can see you know to me if we take away all the crap that i just drew right you can see if it finally breaks out of after holding this range for so long, I think you'll get the momentum, you know, of this actually going up. Maybe we'll see a move like we saw in November of 2021, uh, 20 to all the way to February, 2021. That's the possibility. That's the trade. Now, a lot of shit has to happen in that, uh, to make that happen. So, but we're seeing this and what do I mean why we're seeing this? Well, we're seeing it because the, the, you know, the NASDAQ, right, where everybody's been piling their money in, um, has just kind of petered out. It's not going up. It's not going down too, too much. And you can see that in certain stocks like AMAT, you know, which was a high flyer, selling off a little bit. Amazon, which was a high flyer, selling off. And Amazon right now looks, you know, guys, when you look at this chart, if, I, if, if it wasn't Amazon, right, I would be thinking, hey, I need to buy a put spread in this because this is breaking down. I could sell this, right? You know, I could maybe get, uh, you know, long and deep in the money put, right? To take advantage because this is such a damn expensive stock, right? Because it looks like it's gonna break down. And when you go out and you look, what we loved about Amazon for so long was that it was in this long, you know, trading range and it kind of started to break out of this. We made some really decent money in this here and now it's back in that range, but, with the when you're looking on a little bit of short term it looks like it could break down and go down to you know 3200 maybe even you know 3000 so you know you start to see some of this in the nasdaq and then you know you go over and you see other stocks you know in the and when you look at the dow right this in you start to see the rotation out of big tech into maybe the iwm value into these you know cyclical names uh, you know, we had a big infrastructure package. We talked about this yesterday. You start to see the Dow start to gain its momentum to the upside. And the SPY is in between all of this, right? So they're benefiting maybe not as much as it will uh, the IWM or the, um, the Dow. But the SPY looks a lot better than the, uh, than the NASDAQ. So keep them in your, in your mind. And we talked about it all week because we talked about infrastructure. Right. You know, you have some of these uh, steel stocks that are, uh, you know, that are starting to make look at these moves that they're starting to make. Um, you know, I, I showed you the watch list that I that I had yesterday with the infrastructure plays. You can see a lot of these stocks are starting to move. Right. And this is different than big cap, big cap tech stocks. So maybe and we're, you know, that rotational trade is playing. Out. And you also see this not only in the, um, that sector, but you're also seeing in the banking sector, which we haven't talked about in a while. I've done a couple of videos that I said, hey, this 
we thought, and I've been on TV on Reuters and, you know, and Cheddar talking about where I thought bank stocks would be and financials would be a much better play. And they're starting to, starting to, uh, I mean, they're starting to, they've been working really well. I mean, look at Goldman Sachs. You saw, uh, you know, look at JP Morgan. You know, these have gotten away to a certain extent. I need to see consolidation before I get in, but they're working. So you have to understand that there could be other stocks and you got to just keep, keep doing your homework and following up on uh, on these other stocks, right? Um, all right, before we move on, I, you know, I spent a lot of time on the IWM and that. A couple of stocks that I find very interesting, and that is PayPal holding in there, hasn't really done much. I'm keeping this on my on my radar, right? Because even though it's a Nasdaq stock, it's gotten beaten up. We sold a I sold a put spread into into this down move a little too early, um, you know, thinking that we would get a, a rally back. It hasn't happened yet. Um, but watching this to see if we get that rally or if it continues to fail, right? I have a defined risk trade on, but if it doesn't work, I have no problem putting on a buying a uh, a put spread or selling the stock outright if it starts to fail um, and make money on maybe a continuation to a downside. But I'm I'm looking you know both ways on this, but just put you know keeping myself patient right now. Um, the other stock and we talked about Pan already. Uh, Home Depot and Lowe's, right? Home Depot has had a tremendous move after you know during the pandemic. It has performed extremely well. But you can see that it's just kind of been ho hum uh, since you know pretty much I want to say uh, May you know had to sell off. Now it's starting to make its move back, um, and you know here was the key right in here. I thought this was a very key uh, moment. I didn't. Uh, I should have brought this up to you a couple of days ago, but you know we had this little sell right in here. It tried to make a move off, sold off, and then boom, held, and now it looks like it's going to break out. Lowe's has been the lagger, but it's in that after having that move, same kind of, uh, you know, very similar chart. It's just been holding in here. So this is something that I like right there. Um, again, buying call spreads, buying a deep in the money call if you need to do that or buying the stock outright with a stop underneath these these lows in here. Um, very, um, very appealing, these couple of trades uh, to look at. So guys, listen, I hope uh, these videos are helping you. Make some comments, hit the like button. Um, and also I put a link in the, uh, the description below showing you, uh, giving you access to the Tactical Income Subscription Service. Check it out because we have everything you need to be successful in the market and to learn how to trade with an edge. We have trade alerts, we have weekly watch lists, weekly co two weekly coaching calls. Uh, we have our proprietary algorithm that helps you pinpoint stocks and asset classes uh, when, while trading options. And we have the trading, uh, the, the tactical income trading platform all in that subscription service. So check us out. And remember guys, when trading, trade with an edge and we'll talk to you guys soon.